I think this colored layered plywood is such a cool material to work with. I've been wanting to work with it for a while. So this video is all about taking a material and taking a technique, combining them and seeing what we can come up with. This is one of my favorite techniques to learn something new is kind of this mashup of materials and techniques with no preconceived, I'm gonna build this. The worst case scenario, we're gonna end up with the knowledge of this is how this material works or this is how this technique can work. This is in Carbide Create, and there's a texture button over here. So if you hit texture, all these different crazy numbers pop up, and this is how you create the different textures. So you can put in different parameters, different step over, different variations. So I messed with this until I got something that I liked. And this one right here, the step over variation, means that it's random. And then you can see max depth, max length, so this, literally, you can do any kind of texture you could imagine um, with this right here. So the whole idea of this experiment, so we have this textured surface, right? So it can be used as decorative, but I wanted to be able to use it as a surface. So my thought was is take some epoxy and just put a thin layer on it to create a flat usable surface. So I just got the tape off and I think that works pretty good. All right, so I didn't want to get too carried away with sanding, but I cleaned up all the blue tape. I'd finish this, sand it just like normal, and then apply some kind of finish, and it'll be crystal clear again. Okay, so the first thing I did was take that block over to the bandsaw, and I cut like one-eighth inch pieces. Now, this material is not cheap. So I wanted to make it go as far as it possibly can. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix this to a bigger piece of plywood and that'll give us more working area um, of these layers. I got a little bit of all the colors in here. See the red, white, and blue mixed in together. To get these perfectly smooth, I'm gonna run them through the drum sander and then we'll figure out where we're gonna go from there. intentionally did not run the dust collection. One, so I could film it better. Two, so I don't know what it looks like.
All right, so first, let's let's look at this technique. What did I learn from this technique? Where can it be used? One idea that I thought of is it would be really cool to texture some drawer fronts, even if you didn't use this colorful plywood. Um, but this random technique would look really cool, even if you included some stain. This has a ton of opportunities. Think about it. you can make posters with that texture because now it's a flat surface. It's not rough like this, and it's really durable. So I thought that was really cool. I can definitely see using this combination in the future, taking it a, one step farther than this and getting this. So I think that's a really cool process, just starting with something, taking one step, and like, oh, that's cool. Well, what if I did this to it? Or what if I did this to it? You know, kind of iterating, uh, not necessarily an idea, but on different techniques or different materials. This plywood is really cool. So I got this, there's a bunch of companies that make it. It's really dense, Baltic birch and they infuse the color all the way through it and then lay it in different patterns. The company that I got this from was called Frog Blanks in their clearance section. I just wanted to check out a couple of pieces and um, see what it's all about, but it's, it's really high quality stuff, very expensive. And that's why I went with this and cut it into thinner layers so you really can get a lot of it out of it. A couple things that I look forward to doing in the future is um, some topographical maps. I think that's really, really cool. This material has been used for gun stocks, uh, knife scales, really a lot of uses. So like I said at the very beginning of this video, this was an experimental project. Most of my projects I have an end goal in mind, but for this, I was literally like, hey, I could take this strategy, or I can take this material and combine techniques with materials that I haven't done before and see what it comes up with. And worst case scenario, you don't have a usable product, but you have uh, the knowledge for the next thing. So in this case, it's a huge success. So I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did, uh, learning something new using new materials, new techniques, and you never know what you're gonna come up with. So. Pretty cool piece. Don't go anywhere. I've got a lot of other videos that you can check out right here. I'll see you in the next one.